So you import sounds the same way you import anything into Unreal Engine 4 by clicking on the import button and then selecting the sounds that you want to import. Unreal Engine 4 only imports WAV files and only PCM 16-bit WAV files. So you might have downloaded a file from the internet that is a WAV file but it may not be in exactly the right format for Unreal Engine 4. So you might have to export that from a sound editing application again to get it in the right format. Another thing to mention is that you can't really edit your sound much inside Unreal Engine 4 so you need to make sure that you've done all your editing outside before you import your sounds. You don't actually put the raw sound files into Unreal Engine 4 into Matinee, you have to use what are called sound cues. So to create a sound cue you select the sound file and from the right click menu you choose create cue and just hit return to accept the default name. So you want to do that with any of the sounds that you've imported. Next I've just made a very basic matinee editor here with only a director group so far and I'm only going to put sounds in it just so that it looks a bit more simple for this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is here in the track section I'm going to add a new empty group Okay, and you can add soundtracks to actually any group that you have already within your matinee, but because we didn't have any I just made this empty one to put them into. You need to right click on the group name and then choose from the pop-up menu that shows up Add New Soundtrack. With the soundtrack now added you can start adding keyframes and each of those keyframes need to be associated with a particular sound cue. So I'm just going to minimize my matinee editor and I'm going to select one of my sound cues and then with that sound cue selected I'm now able to position my playback head where I want the sound to start. So I'm just going to start this one at the beginning and add a keyframe for there. And you can see there that my sound has come in. Now this sound is longer than my matinee sequence beginning and end points are, but that doesn't matter. It will still cut off at that end point, provided I don't check this box here, which means that if I check it, the sounds on this track will not be forced to finish when the matinee sequence finishes. So now I can just keep on adding more soundtracks and selecting new sound cues to add and maybe I'll put this one at one second and I'm going to add another one here at 3.50. Now once you've got your sound cues added as with any keyframe within Unreal Engine 4 you can right click on it and set a few different things for it. So you can set the volume of the sound and you can also adjust the pitch. Both of these things are measured on a scale from 0 to 2 where 1 is normal. So if you want your volume to be lower than normal you put it at a rate you know 0 0.5, 0 0.2 etc. 0 would mean it was silent and if you want your volume to be extra loud you'd put it say at 1.5 to 2 and with pitch anything below 1 goes lower and anything above 1 goes higher. So I might just set this one to be at 2 and just so that we've got some contrast to set this one to be at 0.5. So you could continue like that adding new soundtracks. The other thing that you can do with sound in Sun Unreal Engine 4 is to add what's called an audio master track to your director group. So to do that you right click on the director group title here and you're going to add a new audio master track. Now I have to scroll it here to see it but that's just added a new track here which again you can add keyframes to but you're not adding sounds to an audio master track the one thing that the audio master track does is it is a kind of master level control of the volume across all of the sounds that you happen to have within your soundtracks inside your matinee so one of the things you can do with that is you can actually create a fade out across the end or a fade in for that matter of your movie. So let's just have a go at creating a fade out here. We're going to do a one second fade out from four seconds to five seconds. So with my audio master track selected I'm putting my playback head at the four second point and I'm going to add a keyframe there 
and then I'm going to put my playback head at the end, so at the 5 second point and I'm going to add a keyframe there and I'm going to right click on the first one and make sure that its volume is at 1 and then the last one because I'm going to do a fade out I'm going to set the master volume to 0. The way that that fade happens is affected by the curve setting that you have on your keyframes. So to see what's happening there we need to click on this little button which is going to show the curve for those keyframes and this particular track inside the curve editor. So I click here to put my track inside the curve editor and if I click these two buttons to make sure that it's showing inside there you can see that we're automatically getting a fade out happening on our sound between the 4 second point and the 5 second point.